why you're not making any progress. So I assume that actually the majority of people don't need to hear this, but maybe I'm wrong. I don't know how many people need to hear this, but let me put it this way. I've had enough people that I've interacted with at this point where there's still a good chunk of people who need to hear this, even if it's only 10%. 10% is still a significant number. The problem and the reason why you're not making progress and the progress that you want to be making, you are still searching for this, this, this perfect program, this optimal program, and it doesn't exist. You have information overload. There's too much crap out there. This person over here says this, that person over there says that, and, and they all tell you different things, and you're like, which one's the right one for me to do? Should I do West Side? Should I do Small Love? Should I do, you know, whatever the fuck it is that you're looking at? Stop looking at it. People message me, and they're like, which one of your programs should I do? And I'm like, any of them. Pick one. Just do it. People message me and ask me, what do you think of Jake's hypertrophy clusters? And I'm like, it's fantastic. It's one of the best programs out there. You should do it. Well, what if it's not the right, what the, what if it's not the right program for you because you'd make more progress doing what? Continuing to read? You spend so much time reading things and not acting on them. And you program hop and you jump around and then you wonder why you're not making progress. This is no different than these people who obsess over diet. You know what's funny? Look at the guys who don't obsess over things. Ronnie Coleman. That's weird. He made a ton of fucking progress and he didn't obsess over little things. You look at Shane Hunt. Oh, wait a minute. That's another good example. What's going on here? I don't care who we're talking about. You can talk about Ed Cohn, or you can talk about whoever it is that you want to talk about. These guys didn't obsess over minute little details. Oh, how much deuterium is in this meat? That's what you're worried about? That's literally the opposite goal. If you do a deuterium depleted diet, you are going to lose weight. Deuterium is necessary for you to grow. And you're obsessed over the amount of deuterium in something, but you want to get big and jacked. Okay. God love him, Lane Norton. You know, uh, who else? I, 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 I could throw a whole bunch of names out there of people that are like, well, you can't gain weight on a ketogenic diet. But then they also tell you that, you know, carbs don't make you fat. <laughs> so figure it out. You can't gain weight on a ketogenic diet, but also carbs make you fat. This is somehow these are both true at the same time. Uh, the reality is, look at all the guys who get big and jacked. You know what they do? They eat a lot of food. That's it. It isn't about high carb, low carb, high fat, low fat. They eat a lot of everything. And I'm sure that, yes, you could sit down, you could figure out the percentages and be like, well, his diet does have 60% carbohydrates, so it is a high carb diet. And that's fine. Whatever, fucking, I, I don't care. You could do zone diet, 40, 30, 30. It doesn't matter. Are you eating 6,000, 7,000 calories a day? No? Then that's your biggest problem. Like, let's start there. Yeah, as much as I hate the people that are like, it's all just calories in and calories out. Because it isn't. The quality of your food does matter. But if you aren't currently eating 5,000 calories a day as bare minimum, why are you even worried about your macronutrient breakdown? You don't even eat enough. You're like, oh, well, I need to make sure that it's 60% this and 40% that. And it's like, uh-huh. And you eat 1,800 calories. The reason you're not gaining weight isn't because you don't have the perfect macro split. It's because you don't eat enough. I don't care if you eat 1,800 calories of a perfectly balanced meal. You aren't going to gain weight eating 1,800 calories. You eat less than my wife. And she's significantly smaller than me and significantly smaller than you. Take that in for a second. Why are you doing a low calorie diet if you're trying to get big? Like, I feel like I take crazy pills. Like, I'm like, 
talking to people and they tell me about how they're doing some low carb, ketogenic, calorically restricted diet and they want to get big and jacked. It's like start eating food. And then people tell me, oh, I'm doing this extremely complex training program of like sets of 20 and 30, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, why the fuck aren't you just squatting heavy weights? Listen, I'm going to piss a whole bunch of people off right now and I don't care. You can go ahead and get hurt. Dislike the video, comment below and tell me how hurt you are. But if you listen to the Mark Ripito and you just did squats, deadlifts, and presses, that's it. You would get bigger and stronger than 90% of the people out there wanking around with stupid hypertrophy programs that they got from bodybuilding.com. Oh my God, you, you hurt my feelings. I don't fucking care if I hurt your feelings. I'm trying to tell you the honest truth. So call it tough love if you want. Okay, but you screwing around with doing sets of, you know, 20 bicep curl this and 20 tricep kickback, whatever shit ass thing it is. All right. If all you did was just squat, bench and deadlift heavy sets of five sets of three, whatever the shit it is, and you just put weight on the bar, you would be bigger than 90% of the guys out there following some weird split that they found on bodybuilding.com where they're doing 14 different exercises in every workout. Like, my whole workout is I squat. Like, I'm not, I'm not doing 10 different movements. Like, right now, I'm getting ready to go work out, and I'm going to just squat. And when I'm done squatting, I'm going to go eat food. That's it. There isn't a whole bunch of movements in this. I'm not going to do, like, Bulgarian split squat whatever shit thing, and then pistol squat this thing, and then... You know, whatever the other movements, it's not going to be there. Tonight's back squat. I'm going to back squat. I'm going to back squat as heavy as I can, and then I'm going to go eat food. I don't know a different way to tell people this, but you're, you're, it's paralysis by analysis. You have information overload. The reason you're not making progress is because you spend more time researching and reading than you do actually doing things and acting on them. And you're not doing the things you know you should be doing. Like, you know that you need to eat to grow. It's that simple. And yet you're like, I'm calorically restricted and doing low carb. Why are you restricting anything? If you're trying to grow, why are you restricting anything at all? I don't care, carbs, fat, whatever. Why are you restricting anything if you're trying to get bigger? And then it's like, it comes to the lifting. And people are like, well, I don't want to do this program over here because it's, you know, eight sets of five and that sounds like it's too much volume for me and it's like you didn't even try it yet go do something hard and heavy like and just pick something and do it i mean shit i did the exact same workout i don't mean like the same program i mean the exact same workout for six months straight the same workout every single time you know what the only thing that changed was the weight on the bar that's it Six months straight, the exact same workout every single time I trained. All that increased was the weight on the bar. Meanwhile, people are like, I need to do 14 different variations of a quad exercise. No, you don't. No, you don't. You can spend your time doing squats, presses, rows, some deadlifts. Some deadlifts, by the way. That is one thing that I um, will back up on that, you know, uh, you don't need to deadlift daily. That doesn't go very well, but you can squat daily and you can press daily and you can do rows daily. Okay. Uh, you may want to deadlift once or twice a week max. I do think that that one is, uh, the deadlift just, I don't care what anyone says. Oh, the deadlift isn't that hard to recover from. That's because you don't, you barely lift anything. The deadlift is harder to recover from. Um, but outside of that, I mean, shit, just pick basic movements, presses, rows, squats, deadlifts, power cleans, whatever. And pick deadlift variations even. You can do deadlift variations. You don't like to deadlift from the floor, do RDLs, okay? If you just stuck to basic movements and did them hard, you'd be making more progress than following some weird ass program where you have 20,000 different movements with all these different rep ranges. You're suffering from paralysis by analysis. That's why you're not making progress. And it's really that simple. You know what to do. You know that you should be doing these things. You know that you need to eat more. You know that you need to lift heavy. Why aren't you doing them? I don't know. Stop reading things online. It doesn't even apply to you. Like, it makes no sense to me. 
So do what you know you should be doing and you will make progress and actually do it. Spend less time reading, spend more time draining.